guys welcome to beyond the family's chaotic kitchen we're going to be making some hamburgers today okay guys so now i'm going to start off seasoning the ground beef okay we have two packs up here all right i'm going to be eyeballing the seasonings okay and um this is Laurie's. we're going to put some Laurie's, and we're not going to season it too heavy okay but i'm going to tell you the trick that makes this burger tasty all right guys yes all right, I also have some onion powder here. We're gonna sprinkle the onion powder on that, okay? I have some garlic powder, all right? So we're gonna add the garlic powder here. All right, guys. I also have a little pinch of sea salt. A little pinch of that sea salt. I need to add that to wake up the flavors with the rest of the ingredients that I'm using. We have some thyme here, okay? We're gonna add the thyme. So there go the thyme. Okay, this is all going into the ground beef mix. Okay, guys? I have some black pepper here. Yes, that black pepper, okay? I also have some chopped onions it's not much here so i'm just gonna sprinkle the rest on there okay yes get that all up on there and the twist that's gonna bring all the seasoning and everything together okay we're going to use a little bit of brown sugar yes i said it brown sugar guys okay you don't need much this is good one third okay take it it's not even a full one third okay but we need to add just a little bit of that to get it started okay and another thing huh smoked paprika yes and these burgers that's what we're gonna do okay i like to add a lot of the smoke because trust me it's gonna taste smoked okay and i have much left so we're gonna get rid of that okay so what we're gonna do now is uh you're gonna mix this in okay mix that in yes get that all in there get them seasonings in there all right but i'm not finished yet with this okay so we're gonna mix all that in you see that yes mix that in get them burgers get this ground beef mix okay so now i'm going to add some what's the sauce okay that's what you need you don't need a lot of that all right and then we also have, I'm going to leave this to the side for now, and we're going to chop this onion. You got to have onions, guys. Yes. You can cook it on top of your stove, but I like to chop mine up and add it to the ground beef mix. And then I use the other half, you know, and cook that and then add it to the burger. Once the burger is completed, okay, guys? But yeah, we love a lot of onions. So now we're gonna chop this up very thin. Very thin, guys. Okay. These burgers gonna be good. They are gonna be juicy. Excuse these nails, guys. <laughs> I hope you didn't catch them. Okay, guys, that's what we gonna do. That's done. So now we're going to get the ground beef mix. Okay. And we're going to take our onions and we're going to place it over here. Yes. Add them onions. Okay, now we can mix again. Yes. Okay, guys. And we making french fries too. So... After we do this mix, we're going to place it in the fridge for now. Let all these flavors marinate in, and we be back, okay? 
Okay, guys, we will be back. Yes. All right, we got our ground beef here. So now I'm going to give it one more good mix, right? And we're going to start patting these bad boys out. Yes. We're going to start patting these bad boys out. So first, see? Let's get my onion up, okay? Let's get that onion. Let's get that onion. <laughs> All right, roll it. This is how I like to do mine. I roll it like that into a ball. Because some people use little gadgets to make it round, right? But I don't. So I roll it. See how I'm doing it, guys? Rolling it. See that? It's like a ball. And now I'm going to start pressing. And get that middle down a little bit. Okay, we like it like that. So I'm going to place that right there. See that? Let's do another one. Roll it. Let's roll it, guys. Roll it, roll it, roll it. Roll it, roll it, roll it. Yeah. Roll it, roll it, roll it. Now nah, let me start. I don't know how to say it. <laughs> but yes, it's a ball. So now we smash it. And then we start it. Rounding it out. Okay, guys, let's move all that. Those are the burgers. You see that? That's how I round it out. Let's finish it up. All right, guys, now we on to the potatoes. The potatoes have been rinsed off, right? I had these potatoes for a while, so they're going to need to be cooked and cleaned today, okay? But yeah, we're gonna peel this, peel the potato. We're going to fold this potato like this. Okay. All right, so we got the potatoes skin peeled off. So now it's time to chop. Okay. We don't want them too thick and not too thin. So this is about right. Okay. So we can just start slicing it, see? And guys, it ain't gotta be perfect. But trust me, they are gonna be worth it. Hey, <laughs> they gonna taste good. You see that? About like that. All right? I'll make them chunky, slim, thin, whatever, okay? They still be eatable. Just cut your fries the way you like to cut them. But I'm going to cut them like this because these potatoes is kind of small, right? So I'm going to cut them just like this. And I'm going to fry these bad boys up. You see how I'm doing it, guys? Like this. That's it. You see that? We're going to do it just like this. So let's finish chopping. Okay, guys. The french fries are all chopped, right? So now we're going to start our tomatoes. We don't want them too thick. They going on a burger. You see that? All right. Okay, guys. Now we're gonna go on to our lettuce. We don't need to cut it too small because, like I said, it's going on a burger. And I like to just take my lettuce and slap them on that burger like that. Okay, guys? So, we're going to leave it big like this. Okay? And only thing we do is rinse them off and put them in a bowl until we're ready to utilize them. All right. We also have some, some sliced onions here that's going to go on our burger as well we could cook them or you could have them raw i like them raw okay but we're going to put them in our bowl for later okay so we have all right now we're going to be placing some bacon on this pan so we have our bacon cheeseburger with our french fries okay and again we're going to cook this bacon slow because we like some pretty bacon okay mm -hmm. Put 
And this is pork bacon, y'all. So you know this is good. Okay. Well, it's going to be good. When you hear that pork bacon on that burger. Yes. You're going to know that it is good. Okay. All right, guys. So we got some helmet mayo. Right? Mayonnaise. We're going to be putting it in a little dipping. Okay. We're going to be making a burger sauce. A lot of people use mayo, hot sauce, and ketchup or something like that. Or just mayo and ketchup. But I like to just use mayo and some French mustard. Okay. So we will put that like that. I know how it looks, guys. But it is yummy. Okay. So, yes. Let's mix it. You ain't going to over mix it. All right. Just put a little more mustard to even it out. Balance it out. All right. And then we just look. I don't really like the ketchup and mayo. I prefer the mustard and mayo. This little sauce on a burger bun is everything. Yes. 